You'll see it on the screen. Yeah. All right, we're live. Yay. So, um, well, thank you, uh, Divine Sunshine, for agreeing to do this little collaboration with me. This is going to be on both of our YouTube channels. So, uh, mine is Extropic Esoterica. And what's the name of your channel? Um, Divine Unisouls 11. Okay, cool, cool. I know sometimes you change it up a little bit, so I was just making sure, <laughs> make it, making sure I was still up to date, you know? Yes, so. yes. Depends on my mood. You're correct. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm glad. So I didn't, I wanted to let you say it. I wanted to let you say yeah, it, you yeah, know? Yeah. But um, uh, so, yeah, so we're going to do uh, and we've been talking about um, we've been talking a lot about um, really the divine feminine's focus on uh, focus on karma. And and I think of it, to, to be honest, I think of it in, in terms of um, karma addiction, you know, mm -hmm. and um, and you were telling me a lot about like sort of uh, what, what you've been experiencing lately that sort of has signaled signaled to you that 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 feminines are like maybe a little overly fixated on that. So I, I wanted to maybe give you space to sort of like describe that like what are you what are you seeing that suggests that maybe some of these women out here are looking in the wrong direction or looking in the wrong way shall we say yeah so when we're talking about um the divine feminine as far as the aspect with the divine masculine it's kind of like i think your term was like a circle in the, the drain but it's like it keeps circling circling and they find nowhere there's an ending destination mm. uh, for the divine feminines a lot of times they can't understand with the 3D and how the 3D and the 5D is not matching up. Uh, you know, I talked to him, you know, we in the 5D, he's all lovey-dovey. He's bay uh, uh, to, uh, to the ninth power. <laughs> he's like, all this loving stuff. But then when I talk to him in the 3D, it's like he's saying, kiss my ass. I'm going to block you. Don't come around here. Don't do anything. And so it's like it's a disconnect. And they can't mm. really get out of that groove of understanding that, hey, it's got to come to a point where the 3D of the Divine Master and the 3D uh, and the 5D of the Divine Master have to merge together. Until they have that understanding, there's going to also be a separation. So you call it separation on top of a separation, a separation of the Divine Master and with them being in your physical space. Mm -hmm. And then it's also going to be a separation of the Divine Master within himself of the 3D and the 5D of them really truly coming together as one and in that selling into the illusion that the divine feminine has about the divine masculine it causes this doubt this doubt that comes up and it keeps on flaring up anytime he does mm. something everything could be going well you could be talking to your divine master and then when he goes into what you call the ghost mode or he starts mm -hmm. to separation, but you're saying, okay, well, forget you. And we go that battle back and forth. Well, forget you too. And so it's like, okay, now where we are. And so now you start the, the in comes the intro of the fifth D divine master and coming to mm -hmm. you, holding you in the dreams and stuff. And then they're like, okay, well, wait a second. I'm confused. I mean, you know, who do I believe in the three D divine master mm. or the fifth D? Uh, divine mask and I'm crazy I don't want to do this no more I'm frustrated because mm. it's just not coming together I know I'm doing the work I don't know what he doing over there why he's still with the Carmen he don't look like he's moving at all you know I'm tired why well, I always got to be the person who's always driving the relationship where well, I got to always be in the driver's seat so these are pretty much the the whole summation of all the divine feminines if I would put them in one voice this is what mm. they're speaking and mm -hmm. this is where they are when it comes to the divine uh, masculine and that. And so then it causes them to say, oh, well, maybe I'll start looking at 2.0. Mm. Um, well, yeah, so they're looking, they are themselves looking at potential karmic partners, basically, is what yes. that would come, come down to. And then, um, so can you just briefly bring in, because there's a lot to, uh, we there's a lot to unpack, but I want to add even more to unpack. <laughs> um, okay. And um, and can you add, can you bring in the piece about um, people always wanting to know what the karmic partner is doing, or, you know, that kind of Part, part where people are like just fixated on the play by play between their uh, the DM and, and his girlfriend or whatever it is. Right. Yeah. So they're always fixated on that. And that's, it, it, you know, in some ways that's kind of semi not, well, it is their fault or it's not their fault, but it is their fault because it's always wanting to know about what is they're doing in the karmic situation. And if you go on YouTube and stuff, that goes back to that addiction that you were talking about earlier. It helps mm -hmm. to feed that addiction. 
addiction. It helps to keep you circling the drain, as you call it, where you're mm. never flushing it out. You know, and mm. it's, it's that point you're not flushing because you keep on feeding that. And mm -hmm. I'm doing that to myself as well when I watch the comic. You know, it's in those messages. It's an ingrained, just like when we go on social media or those Netflix series and you know you watch one and before you know it it's like okay okay episode one oh my god i got to know what's going to happen next then <laughs> you're on the episode two oh my god i got to happen now they left on the clip i mean are they gonna make it let me go there and before you know it i know it's myself i tell myself i'm up one o'clock in the morning knowing i got to go to work and wake up at five and i'm still trying to watch the whole day episodes because i'm like i got to know i got to know i got to know it's that mm -hmm. same high that mm. same addiction that's being brought to them by them watching and knowing about the karmic situation. It's just almost mm. like you're in the car and you keep on looking behind you. And instead of you looking forward, that looking at those karmic situations is making you drive, look at the rear view mirror while you're trying to drive forward. Those mm. two things is conflicting. That's not going to happen. And so that's why I talked to you when we talked about the karmic uh, situation. Uh, I, I try to stare away from it. I have to be true to say sometimes, yeah, I do want to kind of like gauge to see what's happening. But if I'm at that point that it's like every thing that comes on my YouTube feed is that like, you know, the DM decides he's going to say deuces to the comic. Okay, I'm looking. Okay, uh, now the... The DM say, and, and the comments say they're going to try again. Okay, now, I'm look, I'm like, oh, Lord, I'm looking at that. Why he saying he trying again? So those things of keeping into that about the business or even looking on Facebook or even trying to know about that, you know, you got to get to a point that you're saying what's going on there is not my business. It's not really helping me because the divine masculine or the divine feminine in those situations are getting the tools that they need in order for them to, when they come back to us, to be able to um, be better uh, persons, uh, mm -hmm. be a better person for our union. But mm -hmm. a lot of times out there, divine feminists, I say especially, and I know I'm going to be held to the fire about that, and that's trigger warning. We are the ones that are always looking forward to see what's happening with the karmic. We want to know what's happening with the karmic because, mm -hmm. again, I guess that helps us to gauge us. But in the long run, that does not help us to really become strong within ourselves and our spirit and our reserve to say, yes, he's coming back to me because the more information you find out about the situation, Sometimes the boy it makes it solidify for them to stay in that situation too as well because it starts affecting your heart. You know, when you listen mm -hmm. to that stuff, like, oh my God, they're over there, they're doing X, Y, and Z. And before you know it, it's kind of hard for your heart and mind to come in line. It's like your mind is like, no, nah, I know what I saw. You know, I, mm -hmm. I've seen on their Facebook, it looks like, or oh, I know what I, I heard and that reading. That sounds just like him. That show sound like Jimmy. And I know Jimmy doing that. So, you know, mm. uh, and then it's no way because I think Jimmy is thinking about giving the comic a second chance. She sure is right. That that uh, uh, divine tarot person, you know, so you got to kind of like watch and engage if your mind is susceptible to things like that. And that's why the comic situations are always looking at that. It's not really where your head should be at. It's really concentrating on self and your mm. own karmic situation. Sure, sure. Well, yeah, and and I would even um, the there's a lot of layers to there. So 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 we did we did I did, we did what we came to do. We we made a lot of stuff to unpack. So what um what I'm seeing there is that um, you know, when we talk about circling the drain, you know, and you you understand this, so I'm saying this more so for the audience. Um, the goal is to fall into the drain. You know, so like that is, you know, it's not about circling it forever. It's about eventually you both got to like let go and just fall in. And mm. then, you know, hold on, let me get it framed right. Let go. And then you fall in and then right. you're together. You know, it's like um, you know, something like working with a pituitary chakra, for example, um, okay. right back here to where um, you fall in, um, you, you fall in and then you show back up right where you were. You know, so it's sort of like you submit into that ascended self and then you sort of like confront that fear, I guess, of like, you know, if, you, if I let go of my lower self, will I still have a self, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and and so you let go of that fear and then you just do it. And then um, you do sort of blip out for a bit and you do sort of like um, perceive um, a, a, um, a rapture, <laughs> shall we say. Um, and, but then you, you come back and then you're right back in and then you're in and you're in your say, let's call it your next level, <laughs> your next okay. level of, um, 
of, uh, of growth. And, um, and so that's what circling the drain really is, uh, to be honest. It's, it's sort of like when you're in a twin flame ascension journey, you have another person that's ascending into the same light body soul structure that you're ascending into. And uh, fortunately, that person is already in your light body. You, you're already sharing the light body. It's already, uh, you're already together. You know, you're already in that same light body structure. And what we're doing here between the two individuals is um, we are working out all the karma, karma through a loop, you know, between ourselves. Like if you look at that uh, emoji with the swirling hearts, do you know what I'm ta talking about? Mm -hmm. So like, think of it as we're swirling that energy back and forth, that, that big ball of karma, it's like we're swirling it back and forth between the two of us to chip away at it, get it, get it all out, get it all out, get it all out. Um, you know, like uh, let it drain, don't let it just uh, endlessly circle the drain. And um, and then um, that's the point at which, you know, at, at a certain level when we, you've cleared enough of that, that's when the two of you fit together. So it's kind of like people this this uh, dissonance between the three D and the and the five D, you know, on the higher level, and you know, just consider as well that 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 there's a similar thing happening on the other side of of your union, you know, like your um, uh, divine masculine might be experiencing your higher self as his guiding light. And mm -hmm. then, but then you you might show up in a more three D way than what you're realizing as well. You know, even right. even even if you're showing up in a way that you think is inviting, that doesn't mean that you're actually being inviting. You might need to do a little bit more in the Christian idiom. We call it dying to self. You know, like that mm -hmm. that that dying to self thing is pretty much uh, what I just just was has been what I have been describing is circling the drain. You know, there's lots of different images that we can work with to describe these things that are huge. You know. Um, that are part of what we're doing. So, so those who are those uh, divine feminines who are hung up in that way, they're they are uh, one one thing that I that I like to tell a lot of those folks is, you know, you, this is an a, this is an ascension journey, not not a relationship saga. You know, not like, a, <laughs> like it's not you know it's not a it's not a romantic comedy or a romantic drama or a romantic dramedy. You know, it's an ascension journey that the two of you are sharing together cooperatively. Yes, uh, and so consider as well. There are many different reasons why the twin may be bringing something different to you in three D than in five D. In full disclosure, I have one time in my life consciously done that. I have one time in my life consciously pulled my twin in through inviting 5D energy and then just totally shat on him when he showed up because I was pissed, pissed at him and it was like a petty emotional revenge type thing. Oh, okay. uh, but but for the most part, it's it's not that that conscious of a process. Like a lot of times, people aren't really understanding what they're giving you in the 3D, and I think that goes both ways personally. And um, and so the disconnect you might want to be asking yourself, you you want to create a a separation consciousness between the 3D self and the 5D self. And I would I would suggest to you that that's not true, that that's a false thing because um, your 5D self is working through your twin to show you something or to teach you something or just to show you that you still have more to learn, which mm -hmm. is I think I think what a lot of people are actually doing. So think of it as um, you know, your your higher your shared higher self, you know, like the union energy really is in control at all times and is in control of you, your side and your your twin side. And so um so like stop thinking of it uh, as separation. You know, like I, I I would encourage people as well to embrace the power of the word nothing. Um, because uh, okay. karma is over, you know, and so uh, the karmic relationship is nothing. It does not uh, pertain. It's an illusion. It's purely an illusion. It's something that um, it's a it's an expired soul contract because soul contracts are no longer required of us, any of us. Um, and we're we're uh, we're past. We, the soul contracts were to get us to this moment of, mm -hmm. of the collective ascension, right? But it's like um, it's like the lid popping off, the toilet bowl lid popping off, so the water can drain. Do you see what I'm saying? The lid, right. the lid, the lid's already popped off, and the soul contract, <laughs> the soul contracts got us there, right? Yes. So, so this karmic relationship is nothing. Like it's it's just an illusion. It's like you're holding on to. It's like if you were holding on to another form of addiction, right? right. It's just a matter of time before the the light inside of you burns that out. 
you know, and so and so what you're doing, um, you're part of it, just like you've said, um, the addiction part of it coming from the feminine side is uh, drama addiction, mm -hmm. you know, and um, and any addiction gets as I always say that karma is the prime meridian of addiction, right? Because like all all addictions come from, from come, come from karma addiction, because we use these devices to keep ourselves attached to a lower paradigm. Mm -hmm. than, than what is actually our natural state. And so for some people, it looks like, um, talking to myself now, it looks like uh, caffeine addiction, you know, uh, okay. for, for, because uh, you're manipulating your, your hormones um, to not to have to be centered, you know, and to not have to like let go of those things that you need the caffeine in order to do, do you oh. know? And uh, it's a similar thing with the drama addiction. Drama addiction stimulates your adrenals as well. It That's why, why people enjoy to watch Mari or enjoy to watch uh, formerly Jerry Springer and whatnot because they like to vicariously get that. You are not that. the father. You, you are, are not the father. father. You are not the father. <laughs> oh, no, Jesus, no. No, no. No, oh, Jesus, no. Please, Lord, help me find this you baby's father. That baby came out. That came. That baby came out darker than you, Bertina. You know it's not my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about my eyes. So, you, know, you know there's. You know there's no cream in that caramel. Right. But, but <laughs> you already know. But <laughs> you already know. But. But that's drama addiction, you right. see what I'm saying, right? And we, we, we all know, we're laughing because we all know, like we, we see it all. And the, any of those addictions, think of it as your addiction is what's enabling you to stay in the circle and not fall into the drain, you see what I'm saying? And that's, a, what, that's what it is. And, um, and again, it's not, you know, the use is, you, I like, I always go back to your wording on karma. Um, the, the, uh, the pump is, the pump is cut off, but there's still water running through the pipes. You know, right. that, that, that's an image that you, that you, um, that you gave language to that. Mm -hmm. I always, I always go back to that language because that's exactly what it is. And so right. we are, we are such powerful beings, especially as twin flame beings, but any ascension consciousness that we are, um, that we are able to, um, actually uh put more you know like recreate this karma thing that is essentially done you know because because of the patterning of our minds and what we use our consciousness to do mm -hmm. so th these people who are turning their twin flames karmic relationship into their own personal mori show um yeah. they're not that's not it sis you know like they, they gotta like detach from that and you need to go back to, to circling the drain and fall into the drain yourself you know, like mm -hmm. it, it, and do more work to get deeper and deeper. And then there comes a point where if you level up to a degree, your twin has to follow, you know, like right. um, there, there will be natural, um, the more that you just sort of like get yourself centered and get yourself right. These things will just, I say slough off, slough off like uh, like um, dead skin, you know, like an animal, like uh, sloughing off its, uh, its, its outer layer, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, like, uh, you you want to like detach from that, and then, um, you know, I, I would say, you know, rather than going to a card reader, if you've got a a connection with your twin's higher self to where you can communicate in a more direct fashion like that, and it's all sweet nothings at night, you know, with, yeah. with your energetic twin, and that stuff is real, you know, like we do commune with our twins in that way. Um, so don't don't be worried about that part. Don't think of it as like, oh, is this a delusion? It's not a delusion. It's real. Um, but to to be honest, your your the enlightened solution is to ask your twin like, what's going on with your uh, you know with your more grounded self? What are you trying to teach me here? What can I do to I help to uh, to learn the lesson that I need to learn to go further up into the drain? And and what uh, what can I do to energetically support my twin to get past this obstacle of um, being attached to something that's not real? You know? Yeah, because I always say that it's not about um, it's not. We keep on questioning about the how is this happening, but we should be asking the why. And I like how you're saying that to get in touch with why you sweet and doing pillow talk. 
Mm -hmm. moving into that and say, okay, let's talk since I got your full attention after whatever you all are doing, the pillow talk, and say, okay, what is the lesson that you're through? Because you and I both know that the 3D version of you is not on the board or online with what's showing up. And that's a good thing. I think a lot of us, we don't think about that to ask, hey, we really got somebody who is like almost like I spy in our own little uh, drone, which is our higher self. They've got a real bird's eye view to everything and to really just to ask. That's why I said and I did earlier um, one of my things is that as us as divine feminists, we got to be a little bit more proactive instead of being reactionary to other stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like we, I don't jump, get froggy. I don't get into action until something happens to me. You know, our role is, and that's what I'd seen with my, um, I did a past life regression session with a young lady and she was telling how she got like a choice between the divine masculine and the 2.0 and uh that's why i call it the other person that like i'm thinking but i ain't too sure about the divine mask because he's acting up so now i'm gonna go mm -hmm. call in this soulmate person in and so then her higher self when i took her under was like you know you're at the point that you're thinking that they're the ones teaching you but guess what you're the one teaching them and i think a lot of times the divine feminine we don't we always talk about okay well when they do this this makes me have to go on the defense or the or let me think maybe i need to go on the offense about it. Uh, mm -hmm. what I need to do and this causes that that disconnect again you just gave us a key there for the divine feminine guess what here's another empowerment tool another key for you guess what use that while you're doing pillow talk use that higher self to say hey what's going on here we're not connect it's not on the same level what is going on and what do I need to 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 learn from it? and don't use it why I hear this don't and don't use it to my well, why are you over there? Can you tell me what's going on with the comic? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not gonna be using the, the, the higher self to find out about that. Find out what's actually going on with you. And I like also we had talked about earlier too in our conversations about how we keep on keeping the divine masculine in that wounded warrior mode. Like we don't ever see him beyond the scope of uh as divine feminists uh beyond that it's kind of hard because of the things okay well, i could be honest the things that has been done uh the experiences you know just like a baby touching the hot stove we learn oh don't do that you know and each time you keep on going and you keep on getting burned by it of course all uh, after a while you know you get to that point to say okay well you know i don't know if i could be able to trust you i don't know if i can even believe you can even be beyond this facade or this illusion that you have uh, show me. And so you believe in that illusion to be true, false evidence uh, uh, appearing real in the whole take of things. And that's another thing that uh, I like how you talked about that is that the, is the divine feminist. We've got to be able to not be scared to mm -hmm. go break beyond that and say, okay, my divine masculine is not as wounded. He can do this. Uh, you know, I'm doing the work. Why, if I'm doing the work, why well, I think he's not doing the work. It might look mm. different, but again, the the law of it. My understanding of twin flames is just like the, the if you drop something or you can't float because we got gravity. But there are some things uh, as far as fundamental laws that goes on. If I'm doing it, he's doing the work. He has to do that. He's not mm. just that I do the work and he's just idle. There has to, there is something that he's doing. I might not understand what it is, mm. but that's another thing is that, and then the last thing that I'm going to pass the mic over to you is you have to understand that the, the divine masculine, sometimes while they're still in those karmic situations, like we said, the drain is I always picturing, they show me that it's like, it's still coming down and they might still be staying in it. For some reasons, they don't know, just like I'm they're showing me the free yourself card. They don't know they're free. They almost just like the, the, the flea theory. They got the flea, you take the top off, you keep on bumping his head when the top is on there. And once you take the top off, you see insects. The fleas keep on just jumping and stopping right there. Don't know, hey, you flea, you, you can jump because you got the capabilities to, to jump several feet high. But since now the top is going, you still think you got to stop right there. Some of them don't know they're free. They don't know what to do with those freedoms or how to go about doing that. And some of them, they got to finish up some things that they feel within themselves is to reset what's going on um, for their family, the family mm -hmm. dynamic, the how they look at things, uh, the thing of loyalty, the, their role as being a divine masculine too. That's got to be shifted and changed. And sometimes, you mm -hmm. know, just like a teacher, I'm a nose runner, just as a teacher, <laughs> sometimes you're not finished. <laughs> you're mm -hmm. not finished. 
uh, with that lesson. You might have to kind of go back and make sure you got it permanent. And this mm -hmm. is why sometimes the yes. the divine masculine is still in that situation. But you're like, well, it's over with. They both know it's bad. You know, I know why he's mm. in that bed. You both of them can't stand each other. They're going on trips still with each other, but they know they can't stand each other. Why he's still over there. And so some of that stuff is, you know, simply put, they got to get it out their system. They got to mm -hmm. get it out their system. And that's another way of looking at it. So I'll go on ahead and pass the mic over, over mm -hmm. to you. Oh, no. Well, and you know, that's a profound mirror statement about the fleas jumping, you know, like, cause guess what, Bert, guess what? You're a flea too. <laughs> I guess that, you're a flea too, uh, divine sunshine. You're, you're, you're a flea as well, divine feminine. Like you're, right. you're already free as well. Right. And so like, like this little chain, it's like, what is it? The elephant with the rope, you know? And it's just mm -hmm. tied to like a little stick. He could easily walk right. away, away if he knew. It, like your, 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 your energy, your focus on that karmic partner is that rope that's keeping you from, from moving forward. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, um, and think of it as where energy goes goes where attention goes energy flows right, right? so if you're constantly um uh, play, uh, and that you know i just want to speak that that the attention part it, it, a little bit there's a certain type of handicap that that the um that the divine feminines have the awakened the uh, awakened divine feminines have okay. and that and that where attention goes energy flows right, right. so uh, hi uh hypothetically speaking in many cases you'll have a divine masculine that's walking um the 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 pitfall is that the divine masculine's walking in darkness you know mm -hmm. like like the path like he doesn't even necessarily know that he's on the path while he's on the path for a period of time Mm -hmm. um, and, and then that darkness uh, after you meet your twin and certain things happen, it can it's still there, but it becomes uh, confusion, right? So it's not a pitch black darkness, but maybe it's like a really dark gray, you know. And then over t over time, like they go, the the feminines a lot of times are walking on the path of sight, right? Mm -hmm. But because the feminine has a lot of distortions inside of her as well, that sightedness is actually a handicap because you end up projecting all these templates onto your twin and then your twin is going to give you back a reflection of those uh the of those templates that you're projecting onto to him shall we say and then uh because of because of that that's why i go back to the to the word nothing right you you need you need to you you need to really accept the truth right that you know you're 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 going to you're going to dance with the the gal you came in with you know you're going to dance with the guy you came in with you know, mm. like like your your light body connection is king. You know, like it's it's above all all the rest of like whatever sort of connections that there are, and you just have to own that reality. This this uh, karmic relationship is nothing. It's just uh, it's a tick that I can pick off and throw away. It's a splinter that I can pull out of my skin. You know, like like and just leave it at that. And then you, when you redirect yourself toward, uh, shall we say, the the vertical integration or uh, falling into the drain, leveling up. You know, when you when you redirect your attention uh, in in that direction, you're no longer feeding energy into the karmic relationship. You're no longer feeding energy into the karma. So so think about it as this. You know, drama addiction is karma addiction as well. Mm -hmm. And and um, with uh, when you are feeding that energy into that karmic relationship, you're giving it more energy to sustain itself that is not naturally there without your attention. And on top of that, you're bringing back that feedback loop back upon yourself of re-experiencing yeah. re that trauma, right? And re-experiencing that negative energy. So if you're putting more negative energy into yourself, guess what's happening to your twin? You know, right. and, guess, and if you're if you're like saying this son of a bitch, why didn't he just blah 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 blah? blah what do you think you're doing to your twin? Right. right. So it's it's important to say you know th this karma thing is nothing. Karma is over. Karma is completed, and 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 to fully detach of it, and then to begin to visualize your twin in his fully healed form. You know, mm -hmm. so so don't become addicted to the karmic representation of your twin or as you say your twin's 3d self right right like don't 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 put more energy when you put more energy into say oh my twin is a he ain't nothing but a um 
he he don't want to do nothing but smoke blunts all day. He don't want to do nothing but but run out here with this chick and do all this stuff. And he's just mm-hmm. uh, whatever. Like you are a same thing. Where a, a attention goes, energy flows. You're giving more energy to that version of your twin, that to, that lower version, karma karma created version of your twin. Than what than what would naturally be able to sustain it if you weren't doing it because you're sending him negative energy so you're sending more trauma and drama and and karmic energy into your twin when you're doing that so you're right. creating your and and you're it's the the function of your belief because you're believing these things about your twin your twin's going to continue to be experiencing that yeah you send you send that over as I'm hearing the song I'm your puppet. But you're doing that. You're sending off into it's so strongly imprinted into you thinking it, but it's also mm-hmm. imprinted into your heart too, which is another pathway. The easiest gets to your twin is through that heart. And so if you really sending it down, that like, yeah, I just I just really feel it. I just feel it. I'm in, in my feelings. I just feel that that's where it is. Oh, he's not changing. He's not doing anything. Uh, that's getting sent over to them. And sometimes also yes. with the divine masculine. They're not even thinking about that. And then all of a sudden it's like, where this feeling come over to myself? This is old. I don't think this way no more. That's because you sitting mm-hmm. over there. They're like, I'm trying to get some some uh uh some elevation or a sin. I'm see they showing me like an airplane. They're trying to go off, but it's like it's at the same time, just like you're in an airplane, you sitting there like clear for takeoff. They're like, yeah. And then mm-hmm. the next minute, they're like, no, you got it, you've been grounded. Oh, okay. Mm. for takeoff yeah no you've been grabbed no okay well hold on a second am i going to get off and clip and take off or am i grounded which one is it because you keep on sending those different variances of uh, signals to the mm-hmm. divine mask and so you've got to really it's it's a mind over matter thing and that's the same thing just mm-hmm. like what's showing outside is within you too there's a kernel of doubt with you as far as in your leadership too as mm-hmm. well like you know you might be scared yourself that you might even fall back into those old patterns and beliefs while you're trying to elevate and go to the next level too as well mm-hmm. um i i want to play uh angels advocate for the divine feminists i heard someone and i do that mm-hmm. time jumping somebody was listening to you and say okay that sounds nice Sean, but you know what if i mean you know this comic she's been real nasty like she's put spells on me and her I like they've even had people come and attack. They've been stalking my house. Uh, mm. and, you know, I try to kind of try to ignore what the comic is doing. But I mean, it just looks like to me like her power is just she's just more powerful than I am. And I've tried to mm. say and say that she's nothing. But I, you know, and that that's words is is good. But I I just don't know about really trying to do that. What would you be an advice to them and saying? You know, I've seen how ugly this comic can get. And she's done everything under the sun to me. So mm. what would you say to that? Mm-hmm. Well, um, so like uh, like uh, witchcraft and spellcasting is um, a, a much, much, much lower vibrational energy than what is in, in what is natural, what is literally just packed in right here for a, each one of us who are twin flames. Like there's no uh, demonic entity that can really, um, not even the top level demonic entities that can, um, that can mess with you when you're there. So the answer to that young lady um, is to uh, start, fall into the drain. Um, stop, uh, stop being uh, attached to the illusion of your lower self of your lower disempowered self. And you know, people get really, people become, working in, a, in mental health as I do, people become really attached to and identified with their pain, their trauma, their backstory, their personal drama, okay. you know? And that's a very disempowered place in which to be, you know? And so um, it, it's kind of like, there's there's a certain level, there's a certain level to where the divine feminine has to, understand that these things are only able to happen with her permission you Mm. know and especially when it comes to like if you're talking about real world things where people are trying to like oh uh you know like the 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 stupid things that people do like um uh frivolous lawsuits or calling calling cps on each other or calling Mm. uh you know like the those sorts of things you know um you know if you know that you're the one who's able to stand in truth and um, not be the guilty person, then use the system right back to neutralize that people. Sometimes people have to be smacked, you know, like you don't um, you don't reason with a dog that bites you. You smack the fuck out of it. Oh, okay. Okay. You know? So 
you know, so like don't don't negotiate with terrorists. You know, if there's something that's coming at you in a physical 3D way, whatever, yeah. then you gotta fight that back. You know, like you gotta like say, and that is that is clearing the karma, you know, but like okay. you you fighting that back is is a, a an actual a physical process of clearing the karma. It's a way that that men like to clear karma. <laughs> divine, okay. you know, divine uh, males more so like to do something to clear karma, you know, than to just sort of like energetically uh, um, grow grow upward to, to let it fall that's more the feminine mode shall we say right uh, but but we're merging so we got to both learn both sides so so it's kind of like um with uh so that that individual needs to um like again go grow, grow deeper in, into yourself and as far as the spell casting goes you you you've got to make it your goal to reach the energetic level to where not only does that stuff uh not only is it not able to harm you but it's not even able to attach to your light body at all mm -hmm. it's like uh water wa water off a duck's back like right. it, all that stuff needs to like literally not be able to attach to you and so um you can only get there by yourself detaching from other karmic things and other karmic people such as uh mr 2.0 and uh, going deeper into your light body and deeper into your soul growth and use your pituitary chakra to, to do the soul growth to where you, you go up into the drain and um, and then uh, connect with your twin energetically in a more har more harmonious way. And then the other thing that you channeled one time was the laminar flow energy, right? That, that, mm -hmm. sm that smooth laminar flow. Any ripples in there that you're putting in there are going to ripple on your twin side as well. Yeah. And and when you're sending your twin, it, when you're believing that your twin is um, less divine than you, which a lot of divine feminines are guilty of that. Yes. When you're when you're believing that your twin is less than divine than you, when you believe that your twin is um, sicker than you, you know whether that's a, you know spiritually sicker, um, mentally sicker, you know like that kind of thing. When when you are uh, doing all of these things. Um, you are sending your twin negative energy and your twin is divine enough. You know, I, I had to reach the point. My twin was sending me so much shit so long that I had to reach the point where I grew above it, you know, okay. and, it was, and it was like, you know, it's my choice whether or not I accept this into, you know, and I had to had to to grow above that 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 stream of bullshit that my twin was sitting sending me because <laughs> it was creating bad luck for it was creating bad luck for me. It was creating okay. bad bad circumstances for me. Okay. Um, you got to think about it. You're creating more bad energy, bad juju, bad luck, bad consciousness, karmic consciousness in your twin. You're creating attention for him, and he may not be evolved enough to be like I am to where it's his choice whether or not he goes along with whatever you're sending him, and I can. I can send that stuff up to the drain, you know, because I'm, I've been on this journey 11 years and I've, I've done quite a lot of growing in that amount of time. And uh, but your twin may not be at that level yet. So if you're sending your twin all that bullshit, where do you think he's going to go for relief? He's going to go to the karmic. He's going to go to the addiction. Going to, I mean, the person or whoever all, he's with. Right. All of the above, all the stuff that you and he's certainly not going to you because you're the one who sent the shit to him to begin with. Right. Hey, I gotta drink my tea on that. Can you let that sink in? Not not you personally, but the, the audience. <laughs> let that he's certainly not going to you because you're the one sending him the bullshit. Right. Right now, ain't gonna be nothing. You don't spell relief. I E L I E F was that you don't spell it that way. <laughs> yeah, so don't hold it hostage. Don't hold that hostage. You gotta grow the women need to grow beyond the point where they're holding that. I call it sucker. S U C C O R. Okay. Like the that that um, that the titty energy, you know, like the um, the, uh, the 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 nourishment and the nurturance that 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 takes your your that takes your your male and helps them elevate to more divine levels, you know, okay. sucker. The the divine feminines are trying to withhold the sucker until they see until they see a behavioral thing coming through the three D male. The behavior change isn't going to happen until the, he's getting his steady supply of sucker. It's it's that it's that energy that's going to bring him uh, that laminar flow of the sucker energy that's going to elevate him and bring him up, and all the other shit is going to fall fall to the wayside. That's interesting you say that because a lot of times when I do those uh, Kama Sutra uh, cards, uh, it always has him touching the breast or he's by the breast, and you know, and I'm like I, I keep saying that you know I don't know because I'm I'm clear it's clear since I know things that I don't know why I know, but I just know that I know. Uh, right. And 
I was like, okay, well, well, why is it that they're always showing this? It's like he keeps on saying, I need you. And again, I think mm-hmm. we talked about that too before we had this conversation getting on here, uh, was about how, you know, the divine feminine is going to have to put that pride to the side or that ego to the side. Pride and ego, I think, is that. And they say, you know, sometimes that you're going to yes. have to kind of uplift that for oh, having a flashback. You're going to have to uplift that, uh, your divine master, and that is your mm-hmm. role to be able to do that. Now, though, get do all of you know that saying, you know, way. Now, you a man, and you're supposed to be able to stand by yourself. Why you got to be getting nurtured by me? But at the same time, even with them being, now, this is a trigger thing, even them being in the situation to a certain point, as long as you got enough cup of love for yourself and to be able to offer to your divine master, even though they're in that situation, uh, that's a why the times that we get cut off and then we wonder why did they go back and retract a little bit more deeper into the karmic situation well like that what you told me you know deuces i you know i can't do this because you still over there in that situation you still have to find a fine line to be able to like you say to say hey i'm here i can even say in my situation my, you still find a fine way for you to be able to do that but you can tell when you say okay wait a second you know just like when you're having a baby like okay that's enough now you getting you clamping on a little bit more than mama able to give you <laughs> you're talking you're talking good you're talking right <laughs> so it's like okay i was just a little bit now you are getting into my reserve so okay now nah, that's when you push but now i know when they come in and you know you got enough reserve and you're like nah get off the breast you know go over there go with the hub or go over to the person place the thing and you get your stuff from them you know it's a difference uh in understanding and a lot of divine feminists don't want to do that why because society has shown us that's a sign of weakness oh girl he using you he's trying to have his cake and eat it too and mm. you know it's a different thing but again if you say you want this union you want to draw them to you it's a certain amount you got to kind of give up heck and you don't even know who i hear your spirit talk to me you don't know if you're doing the same thing to him even you talking to your divine masculine mm. sometimes you just need emotional we don't need the sex thing like Mm-hmm. you know me but us talking to them maybe to the divine masters like hell you you sucking on my my breast and i know i can't be <laughs> just talking to you and making you feel comfortable you tell me about your day that's that's overdoing with me too and so you know you have to think about uh, look like on page you got to think about what are you doing too to go to <laughs> him and his divine feminine although he's a male but you feeding on his divine mass uh, divine feminine energies too, that he might be saying it's enough and you draining too much for him too. Mm. We, we have to get to that point to understand, you know, it's not just us standing in the, in the need of prayer. They mm. got too, but it's, it's, it's vice versa. It's got to have that balance, like you're saying about that effect. But a lot of times divine feminists, we don't want to, we don't want to do that. Well, he in that situation, he got to find a way. He just going, he, he made that bed. He made mm. that bed. He got to lie in it. And then that's it. That's another trigger and controversial thing. And mm. I think the point is, is like I feel is understand your boundaries. If you got extra cup of love to give or you go overflow, hey, I can play with you today. I can talk to you today. We can do this. But if you're at the point that, hey, I don't have that extra reserve, I can't give you that. Then make mm. this decision not to do it, but not to do it because it's ego based. That's that's the that's the difference about using that. And I think that's a lot of times where the feminine don't know the trust because we feel like we've been manipulated again. We've been there before. We're about to get hurt again. And why should I be there for you when you want that for me? Well, let me help you out, sis, because I see I see the part you're not that you're that you're not uh, addressing there. And um, what what it really is is that um, sucker is not money. It is not it is not your time. Mm-hmm. It is not your listening to them. You know, it's sucker is light body always. So it, it's always you being in your centered space and lo- and then sending that unconditional love energy to your twin that and then uh, that energetic level of the positive encouragement that that creates the uplift, you know, and so and so the boundaries are there for the 3D part. Do you see what I'm saying? Right. I so, got so, so the boundaries are there for the 3D part. But your goal and what it should always be is the sucker should be endless and seamless. Your sucker is the laminar flow. Do you see what I'm saying? So you're always believing in him. You're always saying, 
um, sending him that energy. And then, so he may, if you got to be steady, that's, that's sort of the alchemy of switching positions, right? Because women tend to like to be circular, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, just, and, and men are just always um, straight line. You see what I'm saying? Okay. If the, if the divine feminine could be a straight line with the laminar flow of the sucker energy and belief in the divinity of her masculine and the, and the unconditional committed belief in the, in the uh, divinity of her masculine and the grounding of that divinity here and that, and, and her man and just continuously go deeper and deeper into seeing your man as who he's supposed to be, who his, uh, 5D self is for, for, for one of a better term. That part needs to stay continuous, right? And okay. you can stay in that energy and still say, no, I don't have any money for you. And, um, and I'm not going to respond to any more messages today. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, or, I or no, I don't have time to listen to your problems for an hour. You got a whole bitch <laughs> over there. Why don't you, you got a whole bitch over there. Go get her to listen, you know, <laughs> right. but, but you don't, but you don't be angry about it. You see, right. you, you you step back because you're not sending him more negative energy. You just say it with love, with Buddhist compassion. I love you so much, but you know what? It's it's more so it's it's a um it's an it's an insult and an affront to your marriage or to your relationship or to the woman that you're living with for you to be talking to me in this way. I think if you've got something to say, you need to say it to her. You know, and then he he's gonna see it's gonna be like a rat going a lab rat going to the uh to get the food or the dopamine or whatever it is. Um, like he's gonna see that you're staying in your energy, you're holding him energetically, you're sending your sucker unconditionally. Right. And you're holding that intention in linear fashion, no circles, no deviations. You're you're integrating your masculine consciousness like to keep it. a linear intention. Um, and, a, and a laminar flow okay. and then and that's how you can liberate him from that because he's gonna like a little lab rat if you say no i'm not gonna listen to you for an hour he's gonna go try to get that from her and then get his hand get his hand burned and you right. just let it like a father the father parents like let the kid get his fucking hand burned he won't do it again i bet <laughs> that's how a uh, uh, um, uh, mother parents like oh no let me grab you let me always be chasing you let me always grab you before you burn your hand that's how a mother parent it, 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 we're, we're merging our consciousness here okay yeah, take exactly. a little bit take enough of that dude energy that that masculine perspective um to to let him burn his hand okay but keep enough of your feminine divine integrity intact to never allow that to be a reason to stop loving him unconditionally and to stop believing in him unconditionally right and sometimes that transfer and i know it seems like i was talking about more so in the 3d but i've heard also and it has been um also suggested that you mm -hmm. know like if he reach out to you energetically you know like in the 5d cut that off you know you send that sucker the love and all that stuff right on back over to him and say now you deal with the karma you deal with your stuff uh, and I've always had felt within me, it's like, it's like a needle in the record or like somebody taking their nails across the chalkboard. I said, something about that, I can't figure it out, but some about that strategy does not feel right. It does not mm. feel right on the fifth D like that. Because again, and I've always seemed like I've been the one who's going against the stream, like Simon going up to say, okay, you know what? It's a way of, my mom always told me, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. It's a way mm. you say it firmly, full stop. Now, I'm not talking about taking on the pain and all that stuff. And they send you when they're in trouble, side hurt, headaches, and all that stuff, because they ain't dealing with it. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not saying that. But if you feel them energetically, like they feel it like some kind of way, like, why are you coming this way? I can feel you. What's going on? Like, she didn't hurt you or something about the job or whatever like that. If you feel that, you know, you want to energetically to send them that hug or that love and that light. I, a lot of times, and it has been even in the twin flame community that has been sent to them. It's just like you like, no, get your hand off. What you coming over here for? And that to me, it seems to it's very conflicting. It's it's being kind of hypocritical because again, you say you wanna, but then you're slapping the hand down. No, don't touch me. Don't even come energetically near me for anything. Mm -hmm. And so I'm glad to hear you saying that. Uh, still sending him love. Still and he him. won't. <laughs> If you send him that message, he won't come near you. Right, he won't come near you. That's what I was trying to tell him. I look like a fool out here, shy by myself. I'm like, oh my God, everybody says, totally different. I said, okay, all right.
right then. I'm trying to help you. I'm I'm the one that's communicating to my person. They ain't got no communication, but you're listening to them. But okay, all right. And then now who's wrong? Who's got the evidence that send them love even in that is working? <laughs> I mean, I'm going like that's right. That's right. You talk to so your twin. You, you, you talk to your twin every day. You got to. You got a yeah. little bit of the. Like you said, I don't know why I say be a, a part of the titty committee. I don't know where that came from. But anyway, no, yeah, the titty <laughs> committee, but we don't want it to be itty bitty titties. We want the big old titties, you know. The big old, we don't want the itty bitty titty committee. We want no, the. I want that. And that's what you try to do. He don't want that either. We want them big, them big goddess titties. That's what it is. Right. The big goddess titties. Right. You know, bigger, bigger, bigger than your head type of titty. That's what we want. Right. So that's what they got to kind of understand that. Um, this came to me too. Why okay. is I would like I to have something to respond to that, but go ahead and say oh, oh, okay. All right. So you add you added in into your response. Yeah. Why is it that people are going for these 2.0s? Uh, and why are these hmm. 2.0s appearing? Yeah, e ego, karma addiction, drama addiction, all of it. Okay. Um, they're 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 appearing because you're calling them for it. Um, the, 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 the individual females are saying, um, and what it is, a lot of times it's a psychodrama of you, the female making a choice, you know, right. the female, um, uh, and I would say the female pretending to make a choice because you've already made the choice, you know? So that's, that's, uh, that's a, that's your own attachment to your, to your lower ego, you know? And, um, and so like, you're, you're sort of like, okay, let me look at this other option over here. And then it's the same sort of situation. I mean, you're going to touch that, you're going to touch that hot stove and get burned, you know? And, um, and that's what happens on, on the female side or, or, or it could be a slow burn, you know, he could be like a nothing wrong with him guy, but, uh, over time you just die inside because you have no passion for that person really, you know? So it's like, you know, it might be a, a hot burn. He might be a jerk or it could be a slow burn. He might be a nice guy, you know, mm -hmm. and if he's a nice guy, you're just going to die inside slowly, you know. So um, it's kind of like it, it, as long as you're living a lie. And I, I think it's unethical and a lot of and I don't I don't mean to um, throw fire at people, but I consider it unethical for uh, a twin flame to enter a relationship and not disclose that they're a twin flame. Um, so I, and, and immoral because you're playing with people's lives. I mean, that right. person can't, that, that 2.0 can never get those years back, you know? Right. So, so right. it's kind of, it's kind of like, why would you do it? And, uh, and like I said, the karma contract, as far as you, you don't really know the karma that created your twins relationship, you know, you might've killed that karmic partner in a past life and your twins cleaning up your mess. You know, you, you might've, you might've killed that, to, that karmic part. You might've killed that karmic partner's twin in a past life. And your twin yeah. is cleaning, cleaning up that mess for you. Right. That's the pearls. Collect the pearls. I mean, so so you like there's all this blaming dynamic, blaming, 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 but it's not, you know, it's not the same thing. So you don't want to be putting your ego into it. And then the thing that I had to respond to what you were saying uh, before is when you're sending the sucker, send your true divine intentions into it. So if it were me, I would be going like, you know, um, you know, I, I, uh, I, I love you unconditionally. I believe in you unconditionally. I can see and feel you growing into your divinity. I'm sending you um, part of our essence, and, and because it's always going to come back into you, right? So this this idea of this idea that you have to cut people off with the sucker with the five D energy, it's not really possible. Really, the only thing you can do, the only way that you can do that to cut that flow off, is for you to retreat more so into your ego. To where you're, to where you're sending more lower, lower vibrational energy into the mix. That's the only thing you can really do. You can't, you cannot stop the seamless flow of your light body. You're inside of the same light body at all times, and and so it's it's never. So you you don't um send you don't send your uh 3D conversation or your 3D energy mm. into into that keeping the 5D flow going. Right. So so you don't say you don't say you don't pretend you don't like demure and shriek the way that women used to in previous generations where you tell them what they want to hear rather than what they need to hear. Mm -hmm. So so on the on the energetic level, you you just you, you just be real. It's like, I love you so much. You're messing up. I know that there's a reason for you messing up. I know that this is part of what our what our mission is here. I continue to hold you and I continue to believe in you. And the thing about it is you get the energy back. You see what I'm saying? So the the lem the energy is always going to come back. So your life is going to get better and better and better the more that you're doing that process and not sending 
your twin any garbage or any baggage and not trying to cut him off energetically or anything like that. And the boundaries are important as well. Like you don't want to be sending people money all the time. That's one of the common patterns that we see. Yeah. I know you I know you used to do that. So I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, poke at you in particular, but I, 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 I'm saying I'm saying that like, you know, it, it's not like um, it's never these 3D things that I'm talking about, you know, like you don't um, you don't unconditionally send it. I mean, he should be sending you money, you know, like the but divine mass, the divine Masculine is supposed to be able to move Earth, you know, like mm -hmm. so you're moving heaven, he's moving Earth. So he's you want him in the divine states where he's sending you money. So, 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 and and uh, you don't um, again, you don't like endlessly listen to him bitch about his karmic partner. He's right. got you know, yeah. it's like you got other you got other folks. You don't do stuff. You don't do stuff that's going to take you off of your center and take and drain you. There is such a thing as I've got to place this boundary here because I cannot do this in the 3d with you and stay in my divine love for you right you see what i'm saying so don't do anything in the 3d that's going to take you off of your 5d love for your twin and take you off of that laminar flow and take like you that. off off of that like straight beeline toward falling into the drain together mm -hmm. you know so um and women are afraid Divine feminines are afraid who who make that decision. They're afraid that if they keep sending, they keep sending that 5D sucker energy, that they're going to be supporting the behaviors that the twin is doing. And, and that's a lie. That it's right. the uh, it's the exact opposite. Okay. It's, uh, it's the it's the exact I'm about opposite. To say, like a, like a, like what where my where my dad gonna say? I'm like a, a remote control go go blah, 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 blah. repeat that again. <laughs> That's exactly no. So repeating it again, yeah. um, divine feminines think that if they got to cut off the five D sucker energy, or, or uh, uh, if their twin is behaving in ways that they don't approve of, uh, otherwise they would be energetically supporting those behaviors. But it's the exact opposite. Yeah, it's you know. it's it's the games that you're playing, the Maury Povich show, the Jerry Springer show. That is what's feeding the karmic relationship. If you continue to send him divine love, divine love, divine love, divine love, it's like a tuning fork. He's going to eventually be too saturated with that divine energy in order to uh, remain in karmic circumstances. And you're powering up at the same time. So it's like it's like the flow, the blah, 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 blah. It's like the 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 when you see the um the Pokemons or um the dragon mm -hmm. uh, the Dragon Ball Z's or the Avatar right. cartoon when they power up, you know? Right. It's like it's that, that power that flow in between you is your way of powering up. You know, it's it's, it's it's your way of ascending, right? And so and so the more that it, you're powering up at the same time. So you're becoming more divine. So you're gonna have more authority to push out certain things because it's yes. your light, it's your light body as well. So you you actually have authority to take uh, to pluck off uh, cords of connection, and you you have authority to um, to uh, to take um, take first you know even even take first someone out of something or, or or to say that like no this sort of like this job this uh, this group of friends that you're in that's, that's dragging you down there you you can have the authority claim the authority to like just make it to where all those people just naturally fall away. You see what I'm saying, uh -huh. or, or or even the karmic partners, you know. But you've got to build that energy. You got to believe your, you build up your belief in yourself first of all to be able to right. do it. But then you also have to circle. You have to fall into the drain more and more and more to actually go more into your your divine power. And you're mm -hmm. and, and you're not getting there watching the Mori Povich show. You're not getting there bitching about his behavior. The, the, the way you get there is through the sucker helps you get there because the, the divine energy comes back from him as well. So he the, 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 the male equivalent to the sucker is the structure, you know, okay. so it's like it's like the, the, the sucker for the structure, the support, you know, the, the ability to to navigate this this uh, earthly experience. You know? Yeah. And so we have to kind of, uh, like you said, understand that. And what the divine feminine needs to also, I'm picking up while you're talking about that, is understanding that that energy that you throw out there is, is not going to, we have a tendency to want to see it come back through there. So where I send it over there in, in 50, so I expect you maybe a phone call in the 3D. Mm, or no. I, I'm expecting that, you know, I throw it out there in the 50, I'm expecting right away instantly things are going to become better. And then the next thing I know, he say he's left the comic and he's with me. You have mm. to understand that when you send that energy over that, that it'll come back to you in various different ways of that love, which lets you know, I open myself even with that to say, hey, that's from you. I've, I, I've always have said that. So like, uh, I think what the other day, 
the kids, I sent them some energetically, some love something to him. And mm -hmm. energetically came back through the classroom. Like they're like, Miss Booker, you know, we really had fun. I loved it. Today was like the best day ever. I have for one of my kids. I ain't seen this child since September. She just logged on now. <laughs> mm. like, oh, well. She's like, this is the best day. I guess I'll be back in school again. Great. So my thing is that, you know, it'll send out in different ways. I even had my niece uh, give me, she said, someone told me to give you a kiss and say, I love you. I'm like, okay, who's that from? I said, that could be from two people. You could be dad or it could be the DM or it could be both of them because both of them are divine masculine. and they wanted to send me that message. So don't look divine feminist. We have a a thing in our divine masculine energies too, that we want to control things and things to come back to us in the 3D, a certain way to express. And even mm. when you send that out there, my thing would be watch your intentions. Even when you send it out there, don't expect anything. Just leave it free and open. Then mm. whatever way that you send it out there will come back to you. And you'll mm. see it come in different forms, like something you might need. And somebody say, hey, did you, some spirit just told me you might need this. I'm going to bring this to you. So be open. I think a lot of times divine feminists with very closed minded energies that it's got to come back to a certain way to kind of gauge that, hey, yeah, this is working or me sending this 50 energy over there is shifting things. I can see it happening because it's changing here specifically in the way I want to. And if it doesn't work, then, you know, hey, it ain't working. I'm not going to try to send them over to 50 because just like what I thought. It's not working. It's not making any kind of changes. And then we go back to encircling the mm -hmm. dream and we're not surrendering. Uh, mm -hmm. to it. And I'm saying that's a thing right. that you might need to kind of watch that while you're doing that, because I think it's the expectations that kills the opportunities that the universe can be able to bring you because of you expecting it to happen a certain way. And that's a, that expectations is a dream killer for the for the union. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's and it's also the when you set the expectation and the expectation doesn't come back in the way that you want it to, because really, really you're trying to control it from your ego when you're setting uh, the expectations. You're trying to control from the ego. Um, when, uh, and so when uh, when those expectations aren't met in the 3D, what happens is you get upset or pissed off or whatever, and mm -hmm. it, cha it changes uh, the laminar flow. The laminar flow isn't smooth anymore. It has all these ripples in it, you know? Yeah. And, um, and the ripples are gonna, again, the ripples feed the cycle, you know? So 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 no, you're, to you're totally understanding uh, what it is, and, I, and I, I'm hoping that the audience is understanding it too, because that's what we all need to be doing. I mean, that's how it's gonna go. So um, that's how we're all going to um, accelerate this process. You know, like it has to be, and it, it, it's, uh, it has to be unconditional. You know, it has to be unconditional. And so um, you're, you're talking about, when you're talking about the expectations, those are also, you can also describe those as conditions, you know? Yeah, true. Right, right, because right, that's how people um, are interacting with them. So, but it's less about, you know, the, the expectations themselves and more about the energy that you're putting into it, you know? Eventually, yes, eventually, yes, there will be 3D content, uh, content contact. And uh, it's fair to expect that. But um, in, in the meantime, the, the, the rewards you get are instantaneous when you when yeah. you do this type of work the right way because um you know your karma is going to get clearer your life circumstances will get better um the the you you talk about the kiss from your niece and from uh the classroom and stuff it might not even be 3d you might just be so wake up the next day so filled mm -hmm, with, ex with ecstasy that you just feel right about the whole world and the more you get into that flow the more you will be having that experience to where um you know it'll be like you can just sort of t completely detach and say yeah when 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 it when you show up you show up and in the meantime i'm good and i'm going to continue to hold this intention and hold this energy and not pollute my life and my life experience and pollute our shared light body with things that we don't need you know right yeah 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 you must have turned off <laughs> What they're trying to say. That's the end of our show, people. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can, we can, in, we can in here. We are at an hour. We can in here, or we can do the meditation as well. What do you? Yeah, we can do the it? meditation. I think that's a, that, that spirit is so funny. They be messing with my thing. Like, okay, that's it. Now let's go to the meditation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why. I people touch my stuff. Okay. All right. The, 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 the low light. The low light for the meditation, right? Right. <laughs> Let's go into the meditation. Yeah, that sounds good. So this is my infinity hearts meditation, and and I'll be making um, 
a video with, um, I got my uh, Bajin, which is a meditation music instrument. Um, and um, it finally came out. It took like 10 months to come because of COVID. Okay. But, but um but i'm so i'm gonna do a produced version of this like a video with like a, a soundtrack or whatever okay. um but but this is sort of like the, the way that it goes so it's infinity heart so we use the infinity symbol at some point for after after do so we know that that looks like an eight on its side right mm -hmm. uh, and so um it, it with uh i wish i could have like the full screen or whatever so like the full screen I, this time no, 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 no. With with you, that's what I meant. Like oh, if you were me? right here, it's not it's not gonna work out. It's not gonna work out. Like, but let you me show want, you. You want me to come back on there? Huh? No, 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 no. Um, okay. Like if you were right here, I could do it. But like, so like the when you've got the infinity symbol, one side of the eight, one side of the eight can be your head, and one side of the the eight can be your twin's head. See what I'm saying? Okay. One, one of the circles is you, one of the circles is them. And I do three three infinity hearts. So we do it at the head level, the heart level, and the uh, loins level, you know, because we want we want our our minds to be in sync and we want our hearts to be in sync and we want our loins to be in sync, right? Especially the loins, because that's the part that um, uh, can repel those karmic partners. You know, if he if he no longer finds her sexually appealing, he's less likely to stay, right? Right. So so we want all these things to be in sync with each other. So um, uh, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna add in the breath work, but but I am gonna add in some some light body activation for a bit um, to uh, to try to to make that part work. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go in uh, really quickly. And I encourage everyone to be in tune with your higher, wiser self, as well as any guides that help you and your twin along the journey. And take a moment to ask Source to check your guides and make sure that they're guiding you in the best ways. And you can also ask that your guys and your twins guys coordinate toward more union, more energetic union, more 3D union, more positive experiences between the two of you. So go ahead and ask for that really quickly. Ask that your higher, wiser self and your, your uh, spirit guides work together with your twins. So I recommend soft breaths for this uh, meditation. And if your guides or your assistants, uh, your divine helpers wish to attune your breath toward um, greater twin flame light body integration, then invite that to happen. And stay centered with your spine straight all the way through. And we're gonna light up our major chakras. So we're gonna do this kind of quickly. We're gonna light up the root chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus chakra, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, the third eye chakra, and the crown chakra. And we're doing this, we're gonna ask that this is done for our twin flame as well. And we're also gonna move on to our higher chakras, the so-called new chakras, which are really just the old chakras that were taken offline for several generations. So with our new chakras, we're going to activate the high heart chakra, which anchors here, but expands out as a shield. So we're gonna light that up. We're gonna light up our well of dream chakra, which is the back, the back of the head where the head meets the, uh, the neck. So we're gonna open up the well of dream chakra, have fully resonating, fully spinning. We're gonna activate our causal body chakra, which is to the left. It might look like the right because of the screen, but I'm using my left hand and going to my left. And it resonates to magenta. 
So we're going to activate it and we're just going to have a bridge of connection with our third eye chakra and with our mind so that we have greater access to our causal body, which helps with manifestation. And now we're going to activate the pituitary chakra. The pituitary chakra is essential to soul growth. And uh, for those of you who like to do the out of body travel within your soul, um, not within the astral, but within your soul structure, um, that's the preferred door to, to kind of get out these days. So we're gonna open your pituitary chakra and we're gonna ask for our higher source beings, benevolent, positive energy to assist us with our soul growth throughout this process. And with our soft breaths. Connecting with our twin, um, your light body has what's called marma point structures, which are like shared chakras that increase and deepen your connection and your experience of your connection with each other. So we want to activate all of those marma points and we want to feel deeply our shared light body with our twin plane. So I'm gonna let you quietly breathe that in for a few breaths, activating all marma points, slinking into our shared light body with our twin flame, perfect seamless communion. And I'm gonna do a little light language to give people some energetic activations that'll help deepen your communion. So that's going to come through right now. So we're letting go of all obstructions. And in this moment of light body communion and connection, you have full authority. You are your higher divine self. So even if it's just for the moment, the time and space of this meditation, we're pushing out all of the karmic. So we're gonna push out energy cords of connection to any karmic partners, karmic friendships, karmic jobs, karmic communities, karmic social groups. It is just us and our twin here in the shared light body in the union space the light body space that is always present and always available to us at an instant, anytime we want it, which should be at all times. So whatever energy we need to pull out those cords of connection, burn them off, detach any negative extra dimensional beings that might be trying to interfere with your connection, in the name of the higher beings, uh, Archangel Michael, these entities must leave. All curses must, must fall away, all impediments. We are fully and deep in our union. And let's take a moment to do some Ho'oponopono's. We're gonna do three Ho'oponopono's just to deepen the karma and try to clear out any animosity that may have been developing between you and your twin flame, whether it's recent or ancient. And I am gonna do a modified Ho'oponopono. I always start with love. So just connect with your twin, whatever the case may be, whatever has happened or not happened. Anything that's happened in this 3D life is um, peanuts and small potatoes and nothing of concern to the greater life of your soul. You came into this plane with your twin and you will leave with your twin. So we're going to focus on forgiveness right now. So we start with, I love you. I'm sorry for the bitterness. Please forgive me for sending you negative energy instead of what you need. Thank you for the lessons that we're learning here together. Thank you for being my eternal beloved. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. 
I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I'm going to give you all a little bit of time to let that karma lesson sink in and visualize the drain as being able to pull out all karma, all negative attachments. Just send all that karma up to the drain, up to straight up to source so that it can be reused, recycled, repurposed, converted from negative energy to positive energy. Just send all that straight up. And I'm going to do a little bit more light language here to support you all in this and help you energetically attune to be able to do that more easily. So light language incoming, sending the karma up to the drain to go away forever. And here it goes. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Nothing you've done in this life is enough to give up what we are, to give up our light body essence and the divinity that is our birthright and our destiny and our mission here. So one by one, we're gonna bring into our infinity hearts and we're gonna ask that they activate come fully now and that they continue to operate within us for the next three days or until we sit down to re reinvigorate the energy of the infinity hearts. So again, imagine that one side of the figure eight is inside of you and one side is inside of your twin and you're in one side and your twins in the other side and the actual energy of the infinity sign is very powerful because it can endlessly it can endlessly allow that energy to flow back between the two of you and the energy that we're flowing is harmonization increasing unity increasingly being on the same page increasingly being focused and directed in the direction that we need to go to come together and to ascend together into our next layer of experience here in this earth plane so it's harmony it's communion it's having the same thoughts it's having the same emotions it's having the same sexual energy directed at each other so we're going to start with the head because it's very important that our thoughts harmonize so we'll ask our guides to help to harmonize our thoughts but we're also just going to activate your infinity heart um, at your head level you know the one that belongs to your head level so visualize for right now the infinity symbol and your your head is in one of the circles and your twin's flame is in the other circle and the energy circulates between the two of you until all of the negative thoughts the defeating thoughts the thoughts that limit us and keep us attached to karma and attached to 3d until those all are able to circle the drain and we just send more positivity back and forth between each other through the infinity heart until all of that negative karma and energy just dissipates and falls away easily and naturally. So visualize your head and your twin's head and the infinity heart connecting you and see the energy flowing from you to your twin, the positive energy, the har harmonization energy. See that flowing through the symbol itself and push it, visualize you consciously pushing that, that positive energy into your twin. And you will find at each and every time that every time you do this infinity heart, the positive energy will come back from your twins, higher self into you as well. So let's just take a moment of breathing and visualizing. All of the positive thoughts, all of the successful thoughts, all of the thoughts that attune us to our divinity. You and I are both divine. You and I are both created for each other. You and I are already together in union. You and I are closing the gap between our higher self and our lower self every single moment. You and I are for each other. 
And we can also just trust the light body to attune our thoughts through this energy exchange. So see it as like a light skating along the infinity symbol. So that little light is going back and forth between you and your twin, and it's attuning your thoughts in the way that they need to be attuned to help the two of you come together in your twin flame union ascension process. So imagine that infinity art, pushing it over to your twin, allowing your twin to send it back to you in an endless feedback loop. And now imagine that you're sending so much light through that infinity heart that the whole infinity symbol lights up in golden light, golden iridescent sparkling light. And visualize and imagine as well that in so doing, the flow of thought energy golden ray thought energy between you and your twin flame is seamless, endless and smooth as a laminar flow. And take three conscious breaths in through your mouth to fully activate this process. Powering up that infinity heart every, with every breath. One more. Ooh. And we're going to allow this infinity heart to continue doing this work for the next three days without us having to attend to it anymore. And now we're going to move into our heart area. So we're including the high heart chakra and the heart chakra. And it's one big area. So again, we're going to have the infinity heart. One circle is going to be our heart energy in our heart area. And then the other, the other is going to be our twins heart, heart energy and heart area. So the space from the high heart through the heart chakra, this whole region. We want our hearts to be harmonious. We ask our higher guides to help our hearts to be harmonious to where we feel the divinity and the profundity of our love for each other at all times. I love you and only you. I love you above all others. I love you forsaking all others at all times. And so once again, we're gonna see our, our infinity symbol and maybe it's black or purple or something to begin with. And we're going to send our heart energy or our sucker over to our twin and just see it as like you're pouring that energy into the infinity sign, knowing that that infinity heart is gonna take you right over to your twin. So imagine the light, again, we're gonna do the little golden light, the little bit, the little engine that could, the little bit of golden light that's gonna to help to harmonize your heart energy. My compassion is for you. My adoration is for you. My affection is for you. My devotion is for you. And we're sending all that energy there. Wait for it, wait for it, because your twin's about to send it right back to you. But just keep sending it to your twin. And then you will feel that compassion energy coming back into you through the infinity heart. So it'll go through the track. All right, so continue to send and to continue to, to receive. And we're sending and we're receiving at the exact same time endlessly, seamlessly. Mm, and it's a power up. So the more that we send, the more that there is. It doesn't deplete the love or the light. It just grows and grows and grows. Sending that energy and receiving it at the same time through that infinity heart, we see now that that infinity heart is becoming fully activated. And it's glowing in that golden ray energy level. And it's growing so hot that the whole thing is just beaming out light. Even the circles, even the negative space of the infinity heart, it's all beaming out, just golden light at all times. And we ask for our guides to help us stay in this intention. And we ask that this infinity heart continue to attune 
our high heart and our heart chakras to one another for the next three days without us necessarily having to be consciously aware of the process. So now we're going to move down into the loin area, and we're going to do an infinity heart meditation for our loin area. And this area is very important because it's where a lot of other people will attach to us through what the part of the light body that used to be called Hara that is now sort of no longer what we want. We want to upgrade that into uh, a sacral energy that's just for our twin flame and isn't for everyone else. So just take a moment to ask your higher beings to clear out that area. A lot of people have a lot of gunk. So the space is between the root chakra up to the sacral chakra, and I'm not going to show you on my body, but you know where your root chakra is, the very base of your spine, all the way to, let's say, the very top of the pelvis, where the pelvis uh, connects to, to your belly. So from, from the very bottom of your perineum and your spine, all the way up to the top of your sacral. This is the energy that we're working with right now. We want our sexual energy to just be for one another and our creative energy to be for our mission and our twin flame union, and for it to not be able to go into other directions. So we can call in an infinity heart structure, an infinity symbol heart structure that can take that infinity heart into our sacral energy, into our sexual energy, and bind us to one another to where no one else can fit in. So yes, the goal is that, you are supposed to be attracted to your twin flame and only your twin flame sexually. And it should be the same way with your twin flame being attracted to you and only you sexually. And that is the goal. That is the energetic goal. That is the light body integration goal. That is what it, it is supposed to be for you. So we bring in that infinity heart structure. And once again, we're going to have it be just a regular old plain old black or purple or whatever infinity symbol. And within one circle is your sacral area. So your root all the way up to the top of your sacrum and with the other circle is connected to your twins sacrum. So the, again, base of the spine all the way to the top of the top of the pelvis. And so we're going to use this infinity heart to synchronize our sacral energy with one another. So just imagine as that little that, that little beam of light travels along the infinity symbol, the infinity heart, to synchronize you. Imagine that it's also soldering and cutting off cords and cutting off anything else, any connections to other people besides, besides you. Or sometimes the sacral energy is creating a life or creating a mission that's not authentic to who you are. So it can be soldering off that as well. So send all of that positive sacral energy over to your twin. My passion is for you. My creativity is for us and for our union. My sexual energy is for you and you alone. And send that over to your twin through the infinity art. And let your twin send that right back to you. Feel, feel the beam go. And it can, it can be a little sludgy sometimes, so don't judge yourself if it's, if it's sludgy. Feel that little light go through the infinity symbol. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And as that little light travels back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, it starts to grow. And more and more of that infinity symbol starts to glow with golden ray energy. Golden ray energy attuning you to your life together in new earth with your twin flame. And eventually we see that that infinity heart is so activated that it's fully glowing and full gold. Your energy is fully for each other. And grow it, allow the volume to go up on that light, more and more golden light, because we want to burn off all of those karmic connections. We want it to just be us and our twin flame. Let that heat, you might feel a little heat, let that golden infinity heart light up and burn off anything that is not for your sacred union. All right, so we're gonna do some breaths of 
breaths as well and through the mouth, gentle breaths and, and imagine the breath going straight down to that infinity heart in your sacral for you and your twin. We're gonna do three breaths to really light that up and really power it up, okay? So. Brighter and even brighter. So we're gonna ask our guides and our twins guides and that infinity heart structure to continue to do that work of synchronizing and harmonizing our sacral energy between ourselves and our twins for the next three days without us having to be aware of it. And I'm gonna round this out with just a little bit more light language and I encourage you all to center yourselves and stay in this energy for as long as it serves you. And remember that you will be passively attuning through the infinity hearts to your twin flame, your thoughts, your emotions, and your sacral energy for the next three days. And you can revisit this and re-enliven and reinvigorate this infinity hearts meditation anytime you want. Those symbols are part of your structure that are available to you for this purpose at any time. So we're gonna end with a little light language. I love you all and I appreciate your participation in this journey, this collective ascension twin flame journey that we are on together. <laughs> Hi, 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 thank you, namaste. Oh, you still had to put the bowl together? Oh, ee, ee, ee. You still there, Devon? Yes. I had forgotten, I had did something almost similar like that. And I can tell you as a believer that that infinity working with that, I forgot, it, it, things intuitively show me. And then I do it for a while and then I drop it, but you just remind me to, revisit that back again but um doing that was great because i think that was the most consistent uh connections that i had with my twin by using that it was like every day we were seeing and communicating each other by using that so that i'm, I'm telling you that it works when you work with the infinity in that um energies like mm -hmm. that so that does work it does yep, and we, we've multiplied it by three with this meditation, because we're doing the head, the heart, and the sacral, you know. Right, so. by three, so that's, yeah, that's, the that's power. That's it. <laughs> the power of three. Okay, well, I guess what is me to close out. You close, got by the scene, I close this out. <laughs> well, thank you, Divine Sunshine. I really appreciate it. This was so wonderful. And I, I think, I hope we helped a lot of people, because I, th I think that these issues that you've, you've described are very common. And that yeah. it's time for us to kind of like just get past it and get to the get to the next level, you know? Right, right. And truly become, as I call it now, the woke divine nation that we're supposed to be and not act like we're just walking around like zombies still. If the karma is over with now, then we need to act like the karma is over with. Because we've heard that on plenty of other channels, not just you, me, mm -hmm. everybody else, if all of the readers, if we have one common thread that's running through everybody, all of us said that karma is over with. So we've got mm -hmm. to learn how to operate and not cling to it like a baby and go regenerate that, re-revive it over again when it's dead. It's yeah. only time for us to now to ascend. And it's, yeah, it's nothing, you know, like the, it's nothing. Um, I like that. yeah, and nothing is the opposite of infinity, right? Right. So, so when we grow into infinity, um, we can, it, it, you know, eventually you can, when you get to a certain level with it to where you can do it without stimulating your ego, mm -hmm. um, you can, you can start to send zero energy toward the karmic partner in the same way you can send infinity energy toward your twit. Yes, love it. And that's a good nothing, way for us to stop right. Nothing, it's nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing is nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. What about the situation? It's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> it's just nothing. But how's it going? It's nothing. I'm not going to talk about it because guess what? It's nothing. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Yep. It just doesn't exist. <laughs> Does not exist. All right, then, for me, I always have my sign also is always stay up, send this, stay motivated, 
and uh, uplifted. Now I'm safe. Now I'm going to go. Love you all. Thank you for having me on there as we're talking on the show. Although we're going to live stream on both of them. So, mm -hmm. but again, like I said, thank you for having me. We're guests on each other's show. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. <laughs> it is well. So, yes, sir. They, yeah, thank you. And yeah, I, I was, I'm just going to copy yours. Now I'm going to say, now I'm going to go. And <laughs> <laughs> but I usually just like to say bye and uh, stay tuned. I will be doing, I'm not available for bookings right now, but I will be producing a lot of content. And okay. I should be I should be available for bookings either late April or early May, something like that. For that, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also when this is probably upload real fast, uh, we're doing the 4-4 Ground Zero event that's going to happen next Sunday, at, right. uh, which is going to be at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. Also, just make sure that you go over to Divine Unisoul's 11.co uh, for you to be able to go register for the event. There might be some special things. Spirit is kind of also leading me. Each day it changes about some other things that might even happen about that too as well so make sure that you do that and for mm -hmm. both of our channels just make sure that you click like share and subscribe yep. and comment because that changes the algorithms for both of our channels as well so you want to sure send people to our channel so we have all that good stuff so they can get this good contact but because out there you're hearing people but they're also feeding what we just said about the karma and mm -hmm. again, we try to make sure we're purists and we send you that good information so it can help you to ascend and understand truly that it is nothing <laughs> that's what that we experience about it all mm -hmm. right we'll be talking to you real soon we'll be having good stuff over here on divine Unisoul's 11 yep. channel and i definitely know he's going to have some good stuff happening yep. over there so make sure yep. a lot of content be the only time we'll do this we might probably oh sure need... <laughs> we'll say, uh, they need us to again twin plane power up again to kind of slide slap 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 i don't think you heard us we feel you need a little help <laughs> yeah. Back to you again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And there's there's always new revelations as to how to get people out of that mindset. You know. That so, is true. That is true. Yeah. Very so, much so. so yeah, I do think we'll be more doing more collaborations again as we always do. Yes, we do. So, <laughs> always <laughs> tells us. All right, then we will see you. We'll be talking to you real soon. <laughs> absolutely. All right. Thank you. Much love.